Hi, my name is Moala, and in this tutorial, I want to answer one of the questions that you ask me in you my YouTube channel. What is the question? How can I change one value when I click on that? Or when I click on one button, how can I change the value of another item? How to do it? Let's see in this tutorial. This tutorial is based on the example which I made in this tutorial. So be sure that you watched this tutorial before watching this one that you are watching now. Okay, how can I do this? First, let's review what we made before. In Designer, I have two layouts. One layout for custom list view, and that's only one custom list view which fills the whole area. And one layout for each item, which has one button and one label. As you see, only by this code, first I loaded the first layout and then one for loop and uh, I created one panel and inside that panel I loaded the other layout and I added that to custom list view. Now let's see the rest of the story. Let's run it again. When I click on this item, so we need uh, the item click. How to create that? The easiest way is to go to this layout. Uh, when I do right clicking on this one, I see item click. So this is the event which triggers when I click on each item of that custom list view. So if I log something, for example, I click on this and I see that log. But when I click on this button, nothing happens because it has another event, another sub. We will talk about that later. Okay, so now the first thing that I want to do is changing this one. When I click on this, I want to change the value or the color of this label. How to do it? First, I need to have access to the whole item. That is a panel and what I have inside that one. Custom list view itself, it creates one panel for each item. And again, inside that item, I created another panel. So for each item, custom list view itself, it creates one panel and I created another panel inside that one. And I loaded my layout. So we need to do the reverse process. How to do it? By this one. Get raw list item. It gives the access to all the views inside that item. But it needs one index. It says which number. Number 0, number 1, number 2. Or you can say the item which I clicked on that. And then so this is the index and it returns one uh, custom list view item, another variable. To have it, we need to define it. So before that, because it returns that one, we need to create one variable as the same type, custom list view item. Now I can uh, have what it returns. Returns the custom list view, which I have it here. And now I need the index. So if I want to change the value of item number one, that is zero. Mm, item number, for example, two, three. But that's not what I want. I want to change the value of each item when I clicked on that. I don't want to change, for example, I click on this one and then change something index some number zero. 
No, exactly the same item which I clicked on that. I have the index of that one here. So simply we type index. Okay, now let's see what we have. Let's log that first this item okay to see what we have inside that one so I click on this so it says you have um, I can say least it has color it's not initialized and this is important it has one panel inside so it has one panel I can have access to that panel like this as I told you, by default, custom list view creates one panel for each item by default. You can have the access to that one here, like this, because uh, that is panel. Uh, it has the attributes of one panel. So, because I created a panel inside that default panel, so there must be one panel inside this one. So if I say get view, get view is something, you know, by the index, you say, for example, the view number one, number two, number three. So it has only one child, which is one panel. So the first one, let's log it to see if we are true or not. It must be one panel because there is one panel inside this panel. As you see, it says layout and layout is for panel. So let's define panel variable as panel equal to, oops, panel like this. Okay, very good. Now we have access to which panel? This one, which I have it here. And inside that one, I loaded this layout, which has that button and that label. So let's like that panel. Let's see what we have inside that one. For example, index number zero. It must be that button. Very good, that is the button. And number one, which is the second one, text view. As you may know, text view is label in basic file Android. So the first one is button, the second one is label. Let's go here. As you see, the first one is button, the second one is label. If you look at this one, this is the first one, the layout, the first uh, index, and the second one. So I want to change uh, the label, for example, this one, which is the this one, second index. So let's um, cast that to one label, in LBL as label equal to this one, and now I can do whatever change that I want. For example, let's change the text. New text. Okay, as you see, when I click on each item, I can change the text of that one. What about if we want to change the text color? LBL.textColor equal to colors dot red so when I click on this one I can change the text color okay very good this way you can change the item which uh, you click on that if you want to click on one thing and you change one uh, another item you need to type directly the index of that one so now, if I click on any of them, the text color of this one will change. Okay, you see it here. Now, what about if I want to click on this one? This one, item click doesn't work. 
because it, uh, this button itself, it has separate uh, sob. So how to do it? Let's see. So let's go back to the previous code, which is index. Okay, very good. This, uh, this one, when I click on this one, so I can generate the click event, which added here. So th there are two ways. First one is this one. It needs a little trick, I can say. I need the index, the only problem is this one. I need the index of the button which I click on that. How can I specify that? Here. When I'm creating that one, I need to specify one index which is i variable. So let's define one btn because before going to this part, you know, we want to use this code here. Okay, but we don't have access to the index. So let's type zero for now. I need to find the index. Here I can give it the index as button equal to p dot get view. So what was the index of that button? Zero, the first item. And now I can say btn dot tag equal to uh, i which can be a kind of index for each item. Now we have stored the index inside the tag of each button. And here, let's for now make it commented. Now I want to log that tag. Beam btn as button equal to sender I hope you are familiar with this concept. And now let's see what we have. btn.tag. Okay. Now I click on this one. Okay, this is number five. This is number zero, number one. Okay, very good. Now I can have that index. And I can make it equal to this tag. So I can say deem index as integer equal to button tag. I think it works. But for this one, let's make it blue to see the difference. When I click on this one, I can change the color and this one change that one to blue. Very good. There is another way of doing this one. Let me tell you the other way. As you know, now without, you know, this one, even without this code, there is another way. The other way is having access to the parent of this button. As I told you before, there is a panel and now we have this button. What about if through this button, we try to have access to that panel? It's possible. So I can define that panel as panel. And I can use this button, which I clicked on that, and its parent returns the views parent. Okay, now I have access to that panel and this label, for example, is inside that panel. So I can say deem LBL as label equal to panel P. So if I say, get view number zero, that is button itself. And if I say number one, which is the second one, that is label. And now I can say LBL.textColor 
equal to colors that yellow for example okay so there are two ways to do it the first way and the second way i hope you enjoy this tutorial please let me know all your comments i will try to answer and i hope to see you on next tutorial please do not forget to subscribe in my channel and hit that like button